Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to quickly explain cations, anions, and the difference between the two. Before we get started, make sure to leave a like down below if you go on to enjoy the video, and make sure you're also subscribed so you don't miss any new videos. So let me start with cations. Cations are basically positively charged ions. Now, if you recall from my previous video, I said that ions are simply charged atoms. Cations are specific distinctions that help us identify the charge on the ion. In this case, it's positive. So what are some examples of cations? Well, if you look at the left-hand side of the periodic table, you can see these elements in this row. These are known as the alkali metals. These elements tend to give up their electrons so they can satisfy their octets. So a loss of electrons disrupts the balance of charge. Let's take lithium, for example. In a neutral lithium atom, you would have three protons. And since it's neutral, you would also have three electrons. However, because lithium likes to satisfy its octet, it gives up one of the electrons. So it loses one, and that leaves it with just two electrons. So now you have three positive charges right here, but only two negative charges. So if you basically add them up like this, you can see that you end up with a total of a plus one charge. And that's basically what you see here. Lithium forms an ion that has a plus one charge. And because that charge is positive, that's considered to be a cation. Now anions, are basically the opposite of cations. They are negatively charged ions, and they gain electrons to acquire that negative charge. Examples of anions can be seen in this row right here. These elements are known as halogens, and they're quite notorious for being electronegative. They really want an extra electron so they can go to this state right here, where they have a full octet. So because they have a tendency to gain electrons, they're considered to be anions when they have a charge. Now, perhaps the most popular examples of a cation and anion are the sodium and chlorine ions. The chlorine ion right over here is an anion because it acquires an electron from sodium. Sodium is desperate to complete its octet, so it's willing to give off one electron. When this happens, the chlorine takes that electron and it adds it to its shell, completing its octet. This gives chlorine a full negative charge and the sodium gets a full positive charge. Now, as we know from Coulomb's law, opposites attract, so these two come together to form an ionic bond, creating NaCl sodium chloride, which is also commonly known as table salt. So that's about it for this video. If you want me to make specific videos on certain topics, please let me know in the comments section. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next week.